what are the consequences of see finish i think it's it can strain your relationship if you're not careful okay so for instance if you so the person obviously wants to make a statement as well like no you can't do that you uh-huh. can't address me that way yeah, yeah. and so the other person to pretends like they don't understand what is going on and so there's a bit of a strain. when the man of god turned away the king being i mean is all right mm. he's a big boy mm. king yeah he pulled his garment and even tore it ah hmm. i mean the person that can't even touch the man mm. of god before they're like mm. man of god will walk mm. in will kneel down and be like ah, mm. why are you mm. here why did you come? Why are you looking for mm-hmm. me? And the next thing, familiarity now, you can even now grab his cloth mm-hmm. anyhow. And so just in case talk. there's somebody that didn't used to feel talk to you before and now is grabbing your shirt anyhow or tapping you at the back of the head, just tell them, this has become familiarity. Mm-hmm. I might tear your kingdom from you, but anyway. <laughs> no, well, no, no. no, not but no we have to be careful though. <laughs> yeah. We have to be careful. Even in relationships for people that are of the same age and mm-hmm. status, you still have to accord the person a certain level of honor and respect. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Oluwak Bimileke, and uh, some people call me Pastor Leke Adewe. Um, this is Confession Box with PLA. Um, PLA is just Pastor Leke Adewe, but uh, if you Google it, it can also be Palestinian Liberation Army. But you just have to be careful. It is Pastor Leke Adewe on <laughs> this one. That's obviously the amazing PTA, <laughs> Parents Teacher Association. But no, <laughs> it's Pastor yeah, right. Titi Leke Adewe. Um, how you doing, mommy? Hi. How are you? You good? Hello, really? everybody. All right. So before we start, we'll pray, and then today we're talking about challenges of ministry, right? Mm. <laughs> like a whole year for this topic. But anyway, <laughs> my Father, my God, we come into this space, and we ask, Oh God, that um, you're the owner of the earths and the heavens and everywhere. Use our voices, use our mouths, use our minds, use everything to the glory of your holy name. Don't let us do anything that is not you. And Lord, let this be a learning curve for us and those who are listening and wherever this goes. Let there be a healing, let there be a support. And Lord, please send sponsors as well. You know, you know, yeah. just saying. In Jesus' precious name we've prayed. Amen. Amen. All right, all right, all right challenges in ministry i think i'll ask you though they hit me <laughs> so one more as a young minister as a young minister mm-hmm. tell us some of your challenges <sighs> see in how i ministry. sat back see how i sat back i can almost sit on the floor and cry <laughs> um you know since this is a confession actually this is one of the things that gave birth to this whole idea for me mm. um i mean you've always been pushing for us to do this but um we kind of need the therapy if that makes any sense uh, i mean one of the things that we really love as Oluwagbe Miliki Adeboe is to go to a place where no one knows you and mm. you can actually be yourself mm. um not in a negative way but um because i'll give you an example there was one day i was driving um the fj cruiser toyota that uh, was given to me as a as a gift and one guy was driving a lorry with some cement blocks at the back. And he he just took out our our side mirror. Clean. Mm. At a traffic light. Somewhere in the streets of Lagos. You would obviously know that we're on the island because normally the people don't have some traffic <laughs> lights on mainland. Then anyway, not now. Now we do. Ah, uh, we don't jump down already like, ah, we're about to take this guy out. I was also reading my School of Disciples manual at that point mm-hmm. in time. And I don't know what to- what the topic was. So I just went back in. Mm-hmm. And I was like... <laughs> he, I mean, he was yeah. even begging. He can't even mm-hmm. afford, uh, you know, to fix the mirror, all the stuff. There's no point. You know, there was somebody on the other side of the traffic light with the camera out, recording the mm-hmm. whole thing. Hoping that I will rush that guy <laughs> so they can send it to one of the bloggers or whatever mm-hmm. and then start something. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. it would not look like... They yes. won't see that he smashed my mirror. Yes. They don't even want to see that. They don't see you fighting somebody. Exactly, fighting somebody. On the street, Adeboye's son yes. goes Adeboye's son. rogue. Exactly, <laughs> goes rogue again. 
now he's not abusing pastors only. He's also <laughs> abusing regular citizens of the nation. Let's revoke his Nigerian citizenship. Oh, wow. And be the first Nigerian being deported out of Nigeria. Um, I mean, that's one aspect of it. I guess that one includes the fame for the father. But as a young minister, um, there's the expectations that comes in from what the fathers have done ahead of mm. you. You know, um, I mean, the drive mm. that they have mm. is ridiculous. Mm. So there are questions and doubts that comes into your mind. Will I ever be able to fast mm. enough? Will I ever be able to pray mm. enough? There was one woman that we held her hand that came to meet us, myself and my great friend, Pastor Shola Lukoya, and said, oh, I need prayer for uh, fruit of the womb. We, end, uh, we held we our prayed. hands. We, we prayed. Intensely. Intensely. 15 <laughs> minutes. Even, you know, the way the man was even shaking my hand. You know, he's a strong, passionate prayer man. It was shaking my hand. I was shaking the woman's hand. Like, we will shake whatever is wrong out, out of, of you, you out. After we finish 15 minutes, this woman goes, hey, so when will I be to see Daddy Jill? <laughs> I'm like, in the nicest of ways, <laughs> are you serious, cuz? So I, I, what we don't do? Oh, this way. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, why did we even pray for you? So that kind of creates a situation when people are saying, say, sir, pray for me. Mm. Then, no, anyway, then. Mm. And you're like, really, me? You're like, yeah, you. I'm like, are you sure you don't want that? that you so before pray. we start now, don't waste, now my go, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Because and it even creates doubt. And mm. that even goes into some of the pastors in, in ministry and the mission mm. as well, um, where they always think, let me deflect this problem up mm. right to the office of our geo, right to the office of our apostle, right to um and, mm. and it's funny because even as a personal assistant, some of the deepest individuals that I've found uh, in word and general are actually the personal yes, assistants yes. Mm. and then just the regular yes. human beings. Yes. The security guard at the gate of that man of God or whatever um could actually be the yes. solution. But yes. because you know, well, you also don't blame people. They have attached their faith to that. And then that's one aspect. Another aspect is, would I be able to accomplish, you know, they keep saying, uh, I mean, Daddy Joe says that prayer mm. specifically. Um, you'll be greater than I. Yes. Uh, uh, you're like, geez, where will I, where will I, I, I say, get there? Your shoe keeps going Where you say you have not stopped. Where you're you not have started. Stopped. You no, have no, not started, no. Abby. He where says you have not started. <laughs> and you're saying you'll be greater than I. I have to know where, 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 where we are starting from. Start. Where the, exactly. <laughs> Uh, and then you're oh, like, yeah. oh god! And then you know, <laughs> you see the ease in which they do certain things. Mm. Um, go up on stage, and they're mm. speaking to thousands mm. in house, millions in house, and even more online. Mm. Um, and then you know, it's there. It's just there, and it just keeps going. Mm. Same for Mommy Joe. Mm. Same Should for you know all these other, mm. and they just go with ease and the timing, the remas, the back to back. And then there's you here going, ah, how far now? God, <laughs> help me, yo. As in, <laughs> oh, God. As in, we call one small altar call. Everybody is running out. I mean, I've been, the first time I went to speak, even me, I came out for the altar call. You don't have to encourage That's myself. Okay. No. <laughs> you know when you call it out, and you say, I'm, I'm now, I'm counting <laughs> to 10, 10, 9, 8. <laughs> you get to like one. You are like, 0 0.5 0 0.25 <laughs> and them. nobody came and you start threatening people <laughs> uh, there's <is>, see <laughs> you know you know hell can come tomorrow <laughs> god the trumpet is probably even going to sound come out now you stole meat that's still a sin you know and all the stuff but you know what it turns out Take up for growth. Yeah. <laughs> Take up for wisdom. Take up for the you Holy know, Spirit. You know, I mean, I mean, the first time I prayed with someone and the person fell down. Ah! I wanted to ask them, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you actually fell. You see, I hope I didn't push you. Because, you know, sometimes you owe the head. You yes. Know, you, are you don't know. You don't know if you are doing too much, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. or sometimes you just touch. Sometimes it's like, you don't even touch, you know, as people are going... <laughs> They are blowing and people are falling all over the place. Sometimes I'm even going to ask those people, is it lie? This is your falling down that you are falling. Self. Is you are trying to encourage the man of God. It, no. no, it's not. Don't even go there. No, no. I'm saying for some of those people, because the way some of those people fly, say, they're like, the breeze never even reach you. But anyway, now that's what I say the part of the challenges of ministry. Mm. Because in some cases, I've seen also a man of God that he was just speaking. He didn't mm. even do anything. I don't want to mention his name to call he was just speaking, as in he was speaking like I'm speaking right now. And just walking through the hall, almost the same size as me. And things mm. were happening. And you're like, okay. 
it is possible. Mm. Um, the more cleaner I become, yes. the earlier I become, the the more, more I give myself to God. yeah, mm. you know, spend time with God, um, carve out the time, and you know, um, there's a danger of of being invited everywhere and you accepting all the invitations. Mm that you actually don't have because yes. now you're just preparing yes, for the feel, next yes. assignment you're not even doing it from the place of inspiration <laughs> by the Holy Spirit I mean God will help you will give you word to speak yes um, but then now you're not mm. you're not even connected to get charged mm. again mm. so you're running on the battery of what mm. you have last mm. not um, you've not even given time to go so sometimes you get to energy saver mode 5% then mm-hmm. God just yanks you back mm. and like, oh, yeah, yeah, come back, come back, come back, come back. Mm. Then you're like, oh, it's been a while I charged. Now, there's that one. Other challenges is... Not, not with the opposite sex like that. Because mm-hmm. as a youth pastor, mm-hmm. man, you will see all sorts of fine people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. They, I mean, and then mm-hmm. of course you also see some not so fine people. But you everybody know, is fine. Everybody is fine. Everybody. Some are just fine. Every, but, yeah, all of us are created in the image the, of God. I mean, perfectly. Mm-hmm. God even said it. But he, he, in some people's cases, like you, he sat down and sat down again. <laughs> And then so let me have it there. You know, I think that what appeals to us all is just different. It's different, yeah, true. But yeah, everyone is beautiful. I like cute. that. Man, well, yeah, yeah, you know, that's yeah, right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, some people like them strong and powerful. I mean, just the same way, you know, you like me and with my with my full family pack and no six pack. Some people want <laughs> six pack people mm. that they want to be ironing on their chest. I don't know what that is all about. <laughs> um so yeah, there's obviously that as well, mm. which, you know, who cancels the counselor? Mm. Who does the young minister speak mm. to so, about their challenges mm. Mm. of what they're going mm. through? Mm-hmm. I have, I have, well, I have friends that, um, I mean, one of them stopped coming to church when he realized that the volunteer admin, admin is one fine girl. He didn't come to church. He was working from home mm. until Sundays for a month until God helped him pray out that lady and they brought a meal. Ah, now he can come back. Because he knows that he, she, she's, he would fall for her. A pastor? A pastor. Stopped coming to church? No, to church office. Oh, I yeah. see. Oh, on the weekdays. Church office. But on, obviously on Sunday, he would turn up, just okay. preach, and then run away quickly again. Um, but there's also that part where the there's a place for the partners, the wives, the spouse, the, you know, whichever way, mm-hmm. to encourage the husband. Because yeah. if one young lady comes to you and you say ah that word is so powerful pastor i love your time now now and then your spouse is uh, uh, i mean what did you even preach self <laughs> um you I didn't don't even think dance would, well you didn't even dress would well someone say that really yeah well i mean you can post it's a possible comment though it's possible to share your Maybe. experience and confess do you feel supported enough by your spouse in this ministry journey? Mm. Go ahead and comment below. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I mean, there will be that. Mm. The, that, that. That would definitely be there. And then it can also be the other way around. Mm. I mean, one of our, our young ministers already said that it's his wife that people pay compliments to the mm. most and he's jealous. Mm. So he's always, mm. you know, moving around and all of that. Mm-hmm. Although he did confess the time that maybe when they want to buy tickets, they always give them discount because the wife is fine. <laughs> I've been mm-hmm. in a lift with you. That one guy is collecting your number. <laughs> Trying to not collect my number. Actually, that was number. a proud moment for me. I won't even lie. <laughs> it was such a proud moment for me. I mean, the guy didn't know you don't drop four and you were still looking that hot. To me, I was like, damn, nice. I was like, nice. This guy won't toast my wife. She don't drop four because he's not wearing ring. She don't drop four. I mean, see how well I'm doing. That's a proud moment for me. I'm doing well for myself too. I'm well, taking care of you. Yeah, I mean, somebody has to make sure you're being taken care of. But yes, you know, let's not go into that. <laughs> you are taking care of you and me. But that was that was that was nice for me. But he mm. felt threatened. I guess he wasn't comfortable enough to do what to know that his wife is is okay. The pastor, the other yeah, pastor yeah. that um, yeah that you're yeah. talking about. Okay, I mean, there's other challenges like um maybe you did well in your last assignment you now become overconfident mm. 
are not prep as hard as you yes. did the last yes. one. Yes. So you, you or maybe don't you let did, it get but you didn't even press head. harder. Yeah. So you, you now go into the next one. Mm. And it has got into your head. Or the worst one is when they announce your name. Mm. And coming up next. Oh my god. And then there's this raw. Pastor Lake, hey? A day boy. <laughs> You're like good. And you're like, <laughs> your work self <laughs> now change. Hey, <laughs> nah, me the big call you. <laughs> ah, and you, you know, maybe you were going to go there to first even kneel down and first prostrate to God our Father. You know, do your worship prostrating. <laughs> but now that they don't hear you, you're almost wanting to be waving Maybe to the people. Geo, like, like, <laughs> like those governors, when they climb the uh, the, the planes or those politicians are climbing the airplane and they turn around and they are waving. There's nobody there. Oh. <laughs> we, we, we. <laughs> they are waving at the camera now. For you that you be watching at home. At home. Okay, uh, okay. They yes. are waving at us. And they are waving. They will now turn and wave. There's nobody there. You people have secured the whole airspace. That there's even nobody around. Apart from your people that are even coming on the plane to go on the journey with you. And you're now waving. So you, they now call you up. You now get there. You two, you are now waving mm. to your so-called fans. Mm. And this funny thing is the fathers at the back are looking like, that's the last time we are giving this mm. guy an opportunity. Mm. See, pride on the enter in mm. life slowly. Before you go so fall you down, be careful. One has to be careful. Mm. That's actually one of the challenges of ministry. Mm. How do you? What pulls you back? Mm. Who are the people you can actually confess to um, when you're going through issues? Mm. In some cases, they say things that you are even afraid to confess, so, because mm. people are like, um, "You've gone above this." Mm. I mean, they're expecting that mm. you've gone above this mm. level, um, and they don't know that it could actually be a challenge. Mm. So I think every minister should have someone they're accountable to. True. It is important that you find someone that is led by the Spirit of God, someone that can pull you back when so, you are But sometimes, about to babe, some it. of those people, like, I mean, it's like, they, they are really going to be like, are you for real? Like, are you, what you're saying right now, are you being serious that, you are, you still, are still, still dealing with this. Yeah. No, but the thing that's the thing. If it's someone that is um so it's not just anybody, that's the thing. It's someone that you're comfortable with, someone that will not obviously judge you. They might uh, correct you and they might be disappointed or and express it, but they are not going to hold you to it as in permanently. But human beings are funny though, because even human beings will only judge you by the last uh conversation the last outing the last anything mm, but not um, that person though well except you find that person not that person you, you know my own ideal uh thing to ever do if i can you know is i love the catholic setup <laughs> in that aspect that you go into confession a, thing exactly you go into a confessional box uh, you don't know who is on that side they don't know who is here and you can literally just spill the beans then completely. then what after that well the bible actually does say that if you confess your sin you would obtain mercy mm -hmm. yeah confess it, to to whom to well god. to god mm -hmm. but using one of his instruments or his, uh, his servant i'm assuming that the priest inside the box that doesn't know you is obviously his servant um so that actually relieves you in some cases people actually want to just speak and let it come up their chest that oh, I almost mm. killed somebody yesterday. And but but you know that the purpose of the confession, so to say, is so that that person can Hold you can be you accountable, accountable to that person. It's not really about you just talking and talking. Then what after the talk? You need help, you know. So how can that person further help you? Not and then just next time you will now one over oh, and be another down, and then you now go and greet the person. Person will now look at you and say, I hope you are still not pressing any Chill. girls. <laughs> I hope you are still not pressing any girls' bum or pastor. When you people take no, good picture in church, no, no, no. Say, oh, so that's like keep the, your hand in front. The oh, they want to not take picture. You know, like keep your hand in front. Maturity to deal. Yeah. Obviously, they are not going to use your situation to tackle you every single time. It should be your spouse, though. It should be your spouse. Yeah, but yes. spouses tend to use information or receipts, as young people call mm -hmm. it, against you in future. Uh, it is accounting time and auditing time. Yeah. Well, you might be true on that one. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far that is. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, obviously, like you said, there are times that um, 
certain conversations might just even just come up again it might not be as a result of them wanting to use it against you that's what i think though but that puts you in a space where you 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 now are careful what you say because they can be pulled back and used against you in the court of law but Whatever it might not you be your say, spouse though or don't say you know okay. who you are married to yeah so i mean obviously this is like a, it's a form of advice to ministers and all obviously you should be accountable to your spouse but you can also have someone else that you account obviously someone of the same sex someone that is led by the spirit of god someone Say that, that can, clearly someone who, of the same sex yes because so, you yes, know, that's so, also so one of the challenges to, <laughs> yeah. to the same sex where you are confessing you are confessing yourself back into sin yeah as in <laughs> you can confess to, to and you opposite. get too vulnerable with yeah, the opposite because, sex that I can mean, be the a person problem. you communicate with yeah the most, all the time you would eventually start getting some sort of connection mm, as well mm, hmm. mm. so is there any challenge that you feel as a female minister um that you deal with i mean i can name a few for you free of charge a lot of ladies speaking to your husband yeah i mean so that's the thing i think that um with ministry both the husband and the wife in ministry they face quite similar maybe different um uh, challenges here to say yeah. i mean there are people that till forever they would rather want to speak to the pastor that's fine the as long as the pastor, pastor yeah. who knows how to handle it but then again there's also a place of you having understanding as obviously if someone comes and says they want to speak to you can't go and be shouting why do you want to speak to the pastor you, you know you have okay, to be so able to handle wife. of course you okay. have to be able to handle such situations yeah, yeah and the husband you. has to be able to handle it as well you know okay. is it that you deflect the person back to your spouse or a female leader in the church that can help the person if your spouse is not available or if you are the one that can handle it but just make sure that you are as open as possible so that there's no issues whatsoever yeah, yeah some there's people actually get upset it. when i say talk to my wife like, oh. <laughs> and yeah, but some, people, some people have their own motives <laughs> To mm-hmm. why they want the super privacy conversations, yeah, whatever yeah, they're they, I mean, super privacy. Ah, one of the fire things, in Jesus' name. <laughs> amen. Okay, that when they do the super privacy. <laughs> no, no, there's nothing wrong with super privacy. I'm talking about intentions. Yeah. Your intention. Some people are not genuine with their intentions. One of the, you so know, we had a situation that I didn't tell you this, but thank you in advance. Uh, well, thank you for that time, actually. Um, was someone that wanted to speak to me, but I told them to speak to you. But I, what I noticed is this. When they were speaking to me initially, their voice was kind of like, oh. Bedroom voice. Well, it's, it's, it was sweet. It was, yeah, it was. But when they came to you and they tried to use the same voice, the way you just snapped them back. Like, <laughs> Sorry, in uh, direct translation. Really? Can you please come back in line you with your mental up. health? No, speak um, up. Is it? Uh, hey, no, speak no, up. No, uh, maybe, so maybe I said okay. speak up. <laughs> in this but I would probably okay. not say kilonche or anything. Uh, but the way may I cut it. That's it's my you own uh, translation. As in, you just, I, I was like, oh, this is fantastic. I mean, one lady was <laughs> like, um, so um, all of a sudden, he, he, uh, he just grabbed me. He was like, oh, so how did he grab you if you were not in the same space? He went all of magically, sorry. You also then went to go and sleep in the house that you said, okay, it was a group meeting and then everybody fell asleep. Why are you falling asleep on uh, his bed? Exactly, there was how many no, beds so there? Uh, well now we are mixing conversations. We are not mixing. There are certain things that are just common sense, uh-huh. and I, uh, I think you. we need to have this conversation separately. Okay, we need so, to have this on conversation that note, separately. Make sure you come <laughs> on the next one and look for something to confess. Bring everything you have to confess. The box is here. <laughs> we'll keep it in the box. Whatever happens in the confessional box stays in the box. See you on the next one. Thank you, baby. Bye. Love you, man. <laughs> Give me a pound. Give me a pound. Be right back.